Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present study deals with the heat transfer within a pipe carrying water flow in a parabolic solar collector. The present model is designed in three dimensions using design modeler software. The geometry of the model consists of a tube which due to its symmetrical structure is drawn in a semi-cylindrical shape. The tube consists of two parts, the thin outer layer of which acts as the solid wall of the tube and the inner part which acts as the fluid con conduit. The pipe has an internal diameter of 0 0.06 meters and a length of 2 meters which has a thickness of 2 millimeters. And as for the mesh, the meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is a structure. The element number is equal to 1,475,000. Uh, also by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluent software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality and etc. Now there are several assumptions taken into account in this project. The first one is that the top of our solver is set to be pressure based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. As for the velocity formulation we have taken the absolute formulation and as for time study we have selected a steady time study since we didn't want our results to be a function of time. As you can see after double clicking on the energy button in the appeared box, we have enabled the energy equation since we want to uh, account for the dis for the temperature changes in our computational domain. After doing that, in the appeared window, you either can define a new material by defining its properties yourself, or you can click on Fluent Database button and then select from the available list of materials in the software. Also, if you click on the Thermal tab, you can see that the fluid flow's temperature is equal to 320 Kelvin. For example, if you click on the downwall boundary, which is shown in the top store window, you can see that the heat flux thermal condition is defined for this wall, and the amount of heat flux on this wall is equal to this specific value. We may also change the under relaxation factor. These factors may be between 0 and 1. Based on the simulation and the project we are doing, we may change this under relaxation factor. But remember that the values set in here are the recommended values for the pro project, and we highly recommend you to not change these values. After double clicking on the wrong calculations button in the appeared section under the parameters part by just defining the number of iterations, and then clicking on calculate button, the software will start the simulation process. In order to generate 2D contours, just have to right click on the contours button and then select new. In the appeared window, under the contours of section, you can select your desired variable. For example, in this slide, we have selected the temperature variable. After defining the variable, we go under the surfaces section and click on our desired surfaces where we want to see our contours. For example, we have selected outlet in this case. After that, by clicking on save or display button, the software will show you the 2D contour. In this slide, you can see the temperature contour on the outlet boundary. You can easily see the temperature changes on the lower section of the outer wall where we had the higher heat flux applied. In this slide, you can see the velocity distribution on the outlet boundary. You can easily see the fluid flow reaching the fully developed state. Now, in order to calculate the nozzle number for this project, all you have to do is to right click on Report Definitions button and then select New. After that, we go over the surface report and after that, we select the area weighted average. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.